here with UFC featherweight Gilbert Melendez, who just fought Arnold Allen at UFC 239. The fight did not go his way. Uh, Gil is fresh. I mean, it's tough interviewing fighters sometimes right off of loss. I know you got to get your thoughts cleared out, but your immediate reactions to what happened tonight? Yeah, my immediate reactions is Arnold Allen is a, a tough young lion, right? And um, it's been a minute since I've been in there, and I was hoping to wear him out, you know, I was hoping to catch his timing, but the youngster was fast. The youngster was fast. I touched him a couple times. Um, I got to watch the fight, you know? I felt like I hit him. Uh, I was just trying to let him throw and counter back, but the kid was out. He was out, man. He was in and out really well. Um, great coaching on his side out there, and he fought a smart fight. I did my best. I felt really good. I didn't feel great, and I wish I could have pushed the takedown more. Um, but again, I think it was he was also very did very good where I couldn't really shoot as much as I like to. He controlled the distance really well, and I thought I was going to be able to. Um, yeah, man, I was, I was going to be able to catch him. I was going to let him come in, and on his way out, I thought I was going to be able to tag him, but he was he was completely out before I can get him. What do you mean you didn't feel great? Um, you know, you you know you, you train so hard, you, you you have great practices, you feel good, and you know you cut weight, you go in there, and I felt good, I felt relaxed, I just didn't feel, you know, like I'm not trying to say, hey, I, you know, you just wish you feel amazing, right? And I didn't feel amazing, but I felt good. It was fun to be back there. I felt calm. I felt okay. I'm not scared to be in there. I was trying to get hit so I can get some back. I just, you know, just. You know, you know, the kid's tough too, you know what I mean? And um, I like to see it, but I, I don't know. I like to think I had a couple good moments. Yeah, no, absolutely. You had some couple good moments. You had more than a couple good moments, I thought. Cool. When was the last time that you felt amazing in the octagon? Man, that's hard to say. That's hard to say. Um, you know, I will say since I've, I've had, you know, this is what, a lot of losses right here, you know. Um, I will say I enjoyed myself a lot more this time than I did my last fight. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. I felt really good against Barboza. He was the better fighter that night. He chopped my leg pretty well. I didn't feel great in my last fight. I didn't feel, you know, I didn't feel good at all in my last fight. And at least I felt good. And, you know, and, I, and that, I'm okay with that, you know? Walking in, what, what did this fight mean to you, Gil? Uh, it meant an opportunity for another great moment for my scrapbook. You know what I mean? And um, that's what it's about, right? Having the courage to go out there and try to chase another great moment. I've had plenty of great moments I'm proud of. I came out here and I tried to chase another great moment. Um, I feel alive right now. You know, I went in there and I fought someone for 15 minutes, a young lion who's probably going to be 6-0 in the UFC now. Hopefully he goes on to do great things. And um, I got to lock it up with another great fighter, man. And um, to me, I level up regardless doing that. And I enjoyed the experience. Um, my family got together to watch. People are there. And it didn't come through the way I wanted to. But um, it's all about chasing opportunities for great moments to add to the scrapbook, you know. and. Um, you know, it's not what I wanted, and it's tough, but that's what it was. When you were in the locker room before the fight, are you trying to psych yourself up and say, be that guy, be that guy you used to be? Are you try are you, or do you say, that guy's not here anymore, you know, be the new guy? I, what is that like? Yeah, me, I'm saying this kid is young and fast. The first round's going to be slow. We're going to get his timing. We're going to try to make him work and get tired. And when he gets tired and we get our timing, we can start pouncing a little bit more. Um, I don't think that really happened until the third round where I felt like I started landing the left hook a little bit and he was kind of there a little bit more. <laughs> but at that point, I think we were both a little tired and, and he still had some in him. And uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, it just didn't go accordingly. But that was, it, it's, it's different, right? You can't just step on the gas pedal against someone like that. Uh, but I was hoping to, you know, stay at 90, 85% the whole time and hopefully he went from 100 to 70, right? But um, he did a great job. Yo, man, I, love, I love your honesty and I love the way you're able to describe what, what's happening tonight. I want to ask you, a guy who, who was at the very top of this sport and, you know, had, had amazing wars with tough guys. I, I mean, you know, is he the best featherweight in the world? I mean, these were conversations we had, you know, and now you come, you come and you're still, I mean, you're an international fight week, but you look at the top of the card and it's guys that are younger than you. It's guys that are at the top and you're no longer at the top. Right. Does it, how, does, how, do you, how do you digest that internally when you come to the arena on a night like this? Well, I think it's important that you're just aware of it, right? You're aware of it. You know that, uh, you know, one day the old lion has to leave the mat, you know what I mean? Or, or it's just not his time. Whether this is it or not, you know, I just, I was prepared for it, you know. And I'm someone who's always had friends and love and fighting didn't define me. You know, I have a beautiful, wonderful wife. I have a family that supported me and I have a great community of people at my gym. Um, you know, I don't need fighting and it didn't, doesn't define me, you know, and I prepared for this. You know, I got a job with you guys and I have a gym of my own. I knew, um, you know, it's, it's no secret I've been on the fourth quarter, you know, and I fought when no one knew about fighting and 
then I fought when everyone knew about fighting, and I'm fighting still because I like it. You know, not for popularity, not for any, not because I want to win, not because I want to protect my brand, just because I love to challenge myself. And I leveled up today, just just being out there and challenging myself. You know, and and what a, what a great opportunity to be here on a big stage and, and and chase a, you know, chase another great moment. You know, and and unfortunately it didn't work out, but but it, it was it was fun. It was fun. I had a good time. You know, I wish I could have done more. Standing here today, do you think uh, you'll do it again? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. You know, um, I don't know, man. It's hard to just say it's it's over. You know, I don't know. I love how Hansel Gracie will never retire. You know what I mean? It's, you know, who knows? Maybe five years on the road or something, something will happen. But um, I think it's safe to say I want to put my energy towards my team, towards my wife, who's a fighter, to all my members out there. And uh, not leaning on them like that's the reason I have to stop. I just think maybe I can thrive mo more in those moments a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take some time off and um, man, I ran into uh, Ricardo Alameda back there. He's like, bro, you did great. You know, two years off and, and uh, you should just jump back in, man. Of course you're going to do that. And I was like, you know what, you know, maybe I'll get back in there next week. You know, maybe he's right. You know, so like it's so much emotion, man, with this fight game. It's just a roller coaster ride, you know what I mean? And again, I didn't do it for people's opinion. You know, I didn't do it because I care what people say or I'm going to care if they talking crap on me. You know, I did it when no one knew it. I did it before Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner fought. I was eight, nine fights deep trying to explain to people at the bar what I do for a living. And then overnight, everyone knew what this was or what I did, you know. So so I have different motives out there and everything like that. And um, I forget the question right now. <laughs> but uh, but um, but yeah, man, um, you know, I, I just do it because I, I enjoy the fight and I enjoy the challenge. And last question. It doesn't sound like you're going to have an answer to this one, but yeah. there have been rumors that the UFC is headed to San Francisco later this year. Uh, is that important to you? Would that factor into your decision? How, how, would you, how would you take that? You know what? Dang, man. I didn't even know till this, this fight week that they're coming to Chase Center. Chase Center is a mile down the road from my gym. I literally run past it and seen them put that together. They put it together like they're ants, man. They put that thing together fast. And, you know, it's a two-mile jog um, to um, the baseball stadium and back. So I do about four miles. You know, that's my jog. And, I, and a mile down the road is, is Chase Center. I'd, I would love to fight there, man. I, you know, my dream, like, to fight, like, what would, what would make me come back is, you know, Jake Shields, Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, myself, all at the Chase Center, yeah. you know, and, and fighting whoever the heck they want us to or whoever we match up, you know, maybe something like that would be cool. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I got a lot of, I got a lot of think about it. And, and, you know, I got a daughter. I got my wife. I got a gym. I got a lot of people. I got, I got energy where I can put other places. But, man, I had a good time, you know. Well, I don't know. Class act, man. Really enjoyed watching you fight and, and looking forward to seeing what your decision is. Yo, cool. Always a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.